In Friday's sports scene tonight, exclusive pictures of Kilmarnock's plans to take them into the next century. First, Kilmarnock's plans to tackle the fastest stadium redevelopment in British football history. In half an hour's time, Chairman Bobby Fleeting will reveal details of the Rugby Park scheme to a meeting of a thousand season ticket holders. If they give their support, the stadium could be completely revamped in the space of a season at a cost of £5 million. If Bobby Fleeting has his way, Rugby Park won't look like this for much longer. The plan is to bring in the bulldozers at the end of this season and begin a high-speed redevelopment of the whole ground. We played Rangers the last game of the season here in May. You'll sit and watch that game in a stadium that is basically a pre-war stadium. Um, I mean, 90% of our space is terracing. And um, with the assistance of the Football Trust, which we hope they'll, they'll treat us very sympathetically in the application we've made, with their assistance, you'll come back the following May and um, you won't just see one new stand. But this stadium will move from uh, basically a standing sta stadium to a, an 18,200 all-seated stadium with three brand new stands. And indeed the stand we're sitting in just now having a new roof and the seats, the wooden seats and that have been replaced as well. This is an artist's impression of how the stadium would look by the end of next season. The total bill is just over £5 million. If the Football Trust agree to contribute, Fleeting will be left with a million and a quarter to find. I've got a meeting tonight um, with um, a thousand of our supporters. I will speak to them and Kilmarnock fans have been fabulous. I'm absolutely certain they'll help me. Um, if we'd been looking for five or six million, I would have said it. I'd have been scratching my head and saying, I don't know how we're going to do it, but if we're missing, it sounds a lot, one and a quarter, but in the world of stadiums, it's not really that much money. And if that's all we're short, it's my job to find it. Kilmarnock's on-field fortunes have been transformed over the last four years. Now the club wants to put things right off the field with what's reckoned to be the fastest facelift given to any British football ground. People have tried to do one stand, then move to another and then move to another. Um, we've managed to get massive cost savings by virtue of the fact that we're doing it all at once. Um, there'll be some turmoil during the next season, but um, during the next season we'll still be able to hold maybe 12, 13, 14,000 people even during the construction and at the end of it, 18 too. But I know of no other club in Britain that have done this. And we'll have more Kilmarnock news later, this time a big signing. Back to Kilmarnock, who featured in our top story. And news tonight that they've signed former Scotland striker Alan McAnally. In a series of practice matches, 30-year-old McAnally has proved he's recovered from his injury problems. How much Kilmarnock have to pay to the German club Bayern has still to be agreed. If clearance comes through, he could play against St Johnston tomorrow.